There's an evil regime that is controlling the world, whether it seems clear or not. There's the front line that looks like uh, governments and all sorts of humanitarian organizations and non-for-profits. But the point is that on the top of the pyramid are sitting a group of people and they're running the world. And everything is one big show to manipulate, to trick, to lie all for the sake of controlling the world, led by Nimrod, and the Torah is saying that, it's not that I'm taking off some conspiracy theory website on YouTube. This is said in the Torah, that there was an individual, Nimrod, he went against the master of the universe. He created a whole uh, party with him that went against the master of the universe after the result of the flood. And they all have to come back here, the Rizal says, that they're all going to come back here before Mashiach is going to come. Hashem all, brings them all back in an in incarnation, in order to, to revenge, but they're still doing the exact same thing. Nothing changed. You know, imagine now like a Hollywood movie that you see like a production 4,000 years ago and, and people with the dresses or however you call them, like, you know, just imagine in your mind, use your imagination a little bit and you see that it looks like a fairy tale and then it says on the bottom 4,000 years later and you see New York, Los Angeles, jets flying, armies, computers, smartphones and we're into the future, nothing really changed. You see, there's still a group of people behind the scenes that want to go against Hashem, that they mock the Torah and they, their main target are the ones who believe in Hashem and they drive the entire world and most people are manipulated, lied to and they convince everything else but that this is the truth. So when Mashiach is going to come, there's going to be a lot of surprises.